This is your warning. This video contains content that might not be appropriate for all audiences. Okay, so everyone has been talking on the net how things are tightening up here in Belize and uh, how basically the officials don't really have a clear directive and so they're also interpreting it as they want. So it's also not very clear as to like what the actual rules are and what the actual new like lockdown methods are. So some cruisers have been reporting that they're like ordered back to Placencia and then like some were told they have to get a hotel room and get off the boat and like, all sorts of stuff. Um, I guess our concern was that or is that um, this is all tightening up and that eventually it's going to quickly become hurricane season and we're all going to be locked down in Placencia or somewhere where it's not a good place to be. Also, it's getting really hot here. <laughs> so we called, we had a friend call our weather guy, Chris Parker. This is Della. And Bella, go ahead. Hi, yeah, this is Della. We are relaying for sailing vessel Parka. Um, they are anchored with us in Lighthouse Reef, Belize looking for a weather window to head up to Key Largo. Uh, they were hoping for something after today. Roger, good copy, Chris. So sound, everything sounds pretty good along the way as long as they're in before Saturday. So, we're going to leave today. Uh, it was kind of a spur of the moment decision, but the weather window is so good that it's kind of, it'd be silly just not to take it. <laughs> so we're leaving at noon. It's currently 10.15. <laughs> so we put the dinghy on deck, get everything stowed away, and take off. It should be a 600, something, 670 to 700 mile trip. So it'll take us about I think, five days. Five to six days. You ready? No. Why? Fucking lock won't come off. Oh. Trip canceled. Yep, we live in Belize now. <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Get outside. Here we go! jump in the boat. Well, that was some crazy shit. Your line's hit. Oh, wait, yeah! oh. That, I've never seen that. Yeah, that's crazy shit. Berg, what? A wind channel, okay. A wind channel, okay. Yeah! Quick. Yay! Well, that was a fun start to the trip. That was awesome. Uh, we were wrong. It's not a yellow fence.
day two on the crossing and last night things got a little bit choppy. The periods between waves were just really short and so and they were really steep so the boat rocked around a ton so I got sick which wasn't fun but it happens. Today it's mellowed out and we're really cruising but I wanted to show you just in case you don't know where we are kind of an idea of where we're headed and how fast we're going. So we left from north or south of here by like maybe 20 miles um, from Lighthouse Reef and we were supposed to get a trajectory this way um, to ride the current but the wind wasn't good enough for us to point that way so we went around this little atoll on the west side and now then we shot kind of back out here and now we're about like right here. By tomorrow morning, we should be up to like right around here, ease the Cosmo. And then by the evening on Tuesday, we should be north of Mexico, which is supposedly when our wind dies, which isn't great, but we'll be very close to home. And? Uh, Bills are dry, which is good. Your shaft seals uh, holding up well. Coolant is low, but we haven't run the engine since we checked it last time, uh, which is good because that means instead of blowing through the head gasket, which is my assumption that it's probably leaking somewhere, we don't have time to deal with that shit. So, I got this dope ass little water bottle full of coolant every time before your shift. It's your job, not your job, it's one's job to fill it with coolant. If you burn the motor up, you owe us a new motor. Them's the rules. The leak is possible, most probably the, uh, the wa hot water heater, right? Uh, well, it could be anywhere in the coolant line. Okay, but it's a and leak. It, it could be in the hot water heater, it could be all the stuff I installed. I don't know. <laughs> Who, who's to say? <laughs> but other than that, oil looks good. Yeah, oil looks good. Cool. Oh, cool wasn't bad. You know, I used half a cup. Half a cup a day? That's not bad. That's not bad. We, we can, can run, live we with can that. Run that. We took off all the shades on the pilot house. Oh, yeah. What what? The plexiglass is crazy, so you can't really tell the difference, but. No, no. Yeah, say it right. Plexiglass is crazy. Oh, shit, I should put this back on. What back on? You're gonna want your oh. radio camera, really. You wanna talk about where you're going, B? 83 and pickle tight, you just got way too down. Getting strong, lofty sea balls. <laughs> I just, it's fine. He is angry. I'm going to have to amputate that foot. I'm not going to amputate my foot. It's yes, a little, it's a little I'm nick. I'm reading up on it now with Alexander. No, don't. If you're going to do it, do, there's a first aid of flow book. Read that. No, Where are you going? You going to tell him what's up, B? No, we're not going in the direction we want to be going because of the currents, we assume. Yeah, it's kind of fucked up. There is two other boats out here that are also having well, one boat we contacted, they're having the same problem. So we're basically all just sailing north, away from where we want to be, and then hoping to get out of the current, and then turning. It would be really a nice sail if we're going the right way. What? Caught three fish? Yeah. yeah. Only, only four more days. Oh, I have no, nothing happens out here. So, cooking under a passage really fucking blows. But, we do not have time to do any meal prep since we took a weather window that gave us like 10 minutes to prepare. So, I'm going to make a giant pot of vegetable stew for Brina. And I will uh, saute the tuna on the side because somebody doesn't like things mixed up. But, you get to see the fun and good times of cooking on a boat.
Hey B. Come on again. Can you ready to get up? Seven. How you sleep? How dare you? That's fine, I'll get you at 7 30. Okay, so here is our dilemma at the moment. As you can see, with the current and with the wind, we are headed that way, which is obviously not where we want to go on our rum line. If we continue to head that way, we basically hit the panhandle of Florida. So either we can continue to sail until the wind dies and then motor, but then basically we add on miles from, but I don't know if we add on that much. I don't know. The wind is really light right now, but we, with the current, which is pushing us, which is not helping our trajectory, we're going like seven knots in nine knots of wind. Sounds fishy. So I don't know what we want to do. But maybe we'll tack and go the other way. Hopefully it won't lead us straight to Cuba. This is a big maybe. It's a big like who knows, right? We don't want to spend hundred bucks in diesel, so we can give it a whirl. a little bit. Yeah. No, my it's working. Yeah, so the idea is Cuba's over in this general direction. Oh, in front of us. oh Cuba's right there. Uh, we are sailing in that direction and the current is pushing us in that direction. And so we're going to sail towards Cuba and then uh, tack up towards the Keys. And if that doesn't work, then we'll just motor. But at least this we can have a nice uh, sunset. Looks pretty nice over there. I think we have full moon tonight over here. What do you think, B? Loving it. Nothing wrong with that. It's the only thing exciting thing that happened tonight. <laughs> Five seconds of dolphin jumps. Heck. Holy cow! The wind died last uh, last night. We had to turn on the motor, and I have like never seen the ocean this calm. It is crazy. 
There'll be like some Sargasso weed and you can see all the man wars and it's just wild. You can barely see the difference between the sky and the ocean. We still have a uh, quite a ways uh, until we hit the Keys, but right now we're in the Gulf Stream, so it's push pushing us really strongly east. Last night was a full moon too, so it was like so calm like this, and then a full moon, so you could see like all the ships' traffic and everything. It was it was really cool. question we're flying both coming into america like what up bitches i'm here other way there you what go up, bitches? <laughs> the Keys this morning and now it's just downwind sailing we're headed to Key Largo because uh, I should have we should have known this but uh, the marinas and everything are closed here um, and they won't let any new boats come in so we have no way of getting to land but there is a fry out there that offered their dock to us in Key Largo so we're headed there. We're gonna reprovision and get water and everything that we need um, and then head back out. But we're really grateful because we'd be screwed without them. So thank you. But yeah, we're here. It was a great passage and it's like a great ending to the passage down when sailing. 